14 February 2006. On that day, most of the guys were enjoying with their girlfriends. I was lying in a hospital bed after the school and I travelled in and met with an accident. Toastmaster and members of the house. In an accident which caused two casualties, I survived with just a broken shoulder and a lacerated knee and I travelled in the front seat of the van. Most people thought it was the goal that had saved me. But I thought different. I thought I survived because my duty towards the world was not over. I determined that I should do my best to serve the world. And that was the incident that inspired me, that inspired me to change my way of life. I admit that I haven't achieved much during my lifetime. But compared to what I have been 10 years ago, I am quite satisfied with what I am now. However, I should say that the credit for all my achievements should go to one person. And that is without doubt my mother. When I was just 9 years old, my beloved father passed away due to a car accident, leaving my, me and my mother alone. And since that day, it was my mother who took care of me and brought me to this position. When I passed the scholarship exam and entered the prestigious Royal College, I knew nothing about society. But my mother was in this college. She taught me and guided me to become, to come to this state. And today I stand before you as the island fourth in the A level exam, as the representative of chemical department, as and as the author of the novel Vya all because of the commitment and dedication of my mother. Despite what I have achieved in academics, I never had a specific goal in my life. When I was about five years old, my dream was to become a singer. You won't believe it now because my voice is not suitable at all for singing. But it took me about uh, three years to understand that and then my dream changed. Several years later, when my inborn writing skills were discovered, I thought, oh, I will become a professional writer and earn a lot of money like Dan Brown and J.K. Rowling and those people. But one of the journalists I knew said, Puta, there may be very rich professional writers in European and American countries, but in a country like Sri Lanka, it is very difficult to become a professional writer. So you would better concentrate on your studies and do writing as an extra activity. Therefore, I concentrated more on my studies and you know what happened. <laughs> However, do not think that I have given up writing. I recently published an hour, yeah, which most of you have read. And I am sure all the others are willing to buy it. <laughs> and most people say that the main character, Buddhi Kamasimha, is an evil version of Samoth Maharaj. There are some similarities, I agree, but there is a main difference between those two characters. Why Buddhi Kamasimha had a girlfriend when he did Ayurveda, Samoth Maharaj never got into a relationship with any girl until now, uh, even now, I am not, <laughs> not in any relationship. Yes, I would also like to have a girlfriend. I would also like to kiss a pretty girl under Miss Plato. <laughs> that has been only a dream so far. I have had about two girls in my life. The first one, when I proposed to her, she said, we are just friends. And the second one, I had to sacrifice it for the benefit of a friend who had helped me on most many occasions. And I do not regret my decision because it caused the happiness of two other people, although it cost me some amount of happiness. And most people think that the life is all about earning money and getting married and having kids and those things. I also would like to do those things, but those are secondary objectives in my life. I have four primary objectives which I hope to accomplish during my life. The first one is to invent something for the betterment of the mankind. That is why I chose chemical engineering because there are many researchers concerning chemical industry. And the second objective is to become an entrepreneur and give a helping hand to the talented young people. And the third one is to complete my nihilistic fantasy series and present my philosophy to the 
own world through my stories. But I am not quite sure whether people will understand the meaning behind those novels. But that is something else. But that also is one of my objectives. Because I was born with the talent for writing and I have to get the maximum use of it. But more than that, I have an objective which is more important than all three objectives. That is to keep my mother happy. Because for all things she has done for me, for all the commitment and dedication she has taken to bring me to this position, I have to pay her. So, I always try to keep her happy, but I am sure that I, am, I have not been very successful at it. But that is the human nature, it can't be perfect. But throughout my life, I try to keep my mother happy. Because what you do for others is what will give you ultimately.